Hello and welcome to Bennett Adventures. We are starting new adventures in hiking and backpacking as a family. We have a seven-year-old and a nine-year-old and we've always enjoyed camping in our vintage Shasta camper. With the kids carrying minimal weight, we did lots of research to figure out what was gonna be best, what would work best for us for backpacking. We had planned our first trip to be to Isle Royale this summer um, and with a few practice trips beforehand. But what we ended up doing is planning a, a trip to Great Smoky Mountain National Park for our spring break, which ended up being a four day, three night trip that was over 25 miles long. Uh, as far as it being our first trip ever, it, it, went, it went super well and everybody had fun. In this video, you'll see the food that we've packed, uh, what we took along with us, all of our gear, along with a few pictures from our trip. I hope you enjoy. I'm going to walk you through the food that we're taking on our four day, three night trip on the Appalachian Trail in the Great Smoky Mountains for a family of four. We decided for breakfast and lunch, we are going to do meals where we just have to add water to our bags. So in the morning, we're doing uh, oatmeal for uh, every breakfast, and we have two flavors of oatmeal. The kids I lo really love my chocolate chip cookie oatmeal. So they call it mom's famous oatmeal. So it's um, an oatmeal packet with some flavorings. I'll put the recipe uh, below with a packet of almond butter, and of course some M&Ms. For my husband and I, we are taking a mixed berry oatmeal, which we'll also put an almond butter packet in and um, just add water to our bags. Um, for lunches, we have a Southwest quinoa salad that we were just gonna cold soak, but we tried it warm and it was delicious. So we are actually going to be warming up our water at lunchtime too. So we have a, um, a quinoa salad, which we will add some salsa to, and we'll top it with some, uh, with some Fritos. For another day's lunch, we have a uh, chicken couscous, where we've dehydrated some, some vegetables and added it to couscous. It was not enough calories, so we're also, along with that, we're going to split a packet of beef jerky. And then lunch for our, our, our next day is going to be a, um, it is going to be loaded mashed potatoes. <laughs> and in those mashed potatoes, we will add a stick of cheddar cheese, not cheddar cheese, we'll add a stick of cheese that we break up into little pieces along with a half a packet of uh, bacon pieces. And how can you go wrong with bacon pieces? And I was talking about adding some French's fried onions one night, and I mistakenly said Funyuns about what we'd add on top. So we're just gonna try it out. We're gonna add some Funyuns on top of our, our mashed potatoes, which if it's not delicious, the Funyuns will be delicious anyway. So um, that's our lunches. For dinner, we have um, Nor pasta sides with, and we do, I have four packets of Nor pasta sides in here and I just put them all in one bag so we can cook them all together. And we've got two packets of chicken. And then for dinner, another night. This is, um, we call this our Puro uh, Pizza Pasta. So there's, these are just really small noodles that cook super fast. I've made a homemade pasta sauce and then dehydrated it. Um, we tried dehydrating just a can of pasta sauce from the store. It didn't work well because it has oil in it. So we made our own and we dehydrated it and then we're going to add oil packets along with a bag of pepperoni and some mozzarella cheese sticks. And then for dinner, for another dinner, we have a homemade beef stroganoff mix, venison stroganoff mix actually, 
Um, we bought egg noodles and broke them up into small pieces so they would take up less space. We dehydrated some mushrooms and then there is a, um, uh, we dehydrated some venison burger and in order to do that we added um, breadcrumbs and, and I can add a link in the description below about how we did that along with some seasonings in our mix and it turned out super delicious. That's one of our most looked forward to meals. <laughs> of course in the morning we're going to need our coffee so we, um, we did a Starbucks instant coffee uh, that we'll have in the morning. We tried several different things. I opened a link to which coffee this is. It's in a tin can, um, but I'll put a link in the description below. The kids have some flavorings to add to their water, as, along with some meal sport that has electrolytes in it. So we will add those to our waters as we're going for lunches and things. And then each of us have a snack bag. Now, the snack bags have anything that was, uh, it figured out to be our ounces per calorie, um, mi mi everything in these bags met our minimum, which was 150 calories per ounce. So everything in these snack bags meet that requirement, and we just let the kids kind of pick what they wanted to put in there. So we've got some m &Ms, there's some Rice Krispie Treats, um, and each of these bags weighs about two pounds a piece, which seems like a lot, but about half of our calories for each day actually are in the snack bags. That is our food that we're packing and it uh, totals about 20 pounds. We weighed it in the container that we were storing it in, uh, but 20 pounds for three days for four people and our average calories per ounce uh, was about 100 and 120 calories per ounce, which is um, pretty good. That is what we picked. I hope this helps and I will put some links in the description below. This is our gear loadout for our hike in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. We struggled with finding gear for our kids. Some of the stuff didn't exist or we had to to figure out how, how to make it work for them. Lots of the shops we went to suggested getting other things, but we want our kids to be just as comfortable as we are, if not more, so that they enjoy the trip. Um, so here are a few of the, or here are the items that we're trying, we're going to be packing with us in these four bags. We have Osprey bags, the kids have the Osprey Ace, and we have um, the Osprey uh, Aurora and Atmos. So for their jackets, we, um, for our jackets, we have, the kids have Eddie Bauer puffer jackets. I have a Mountain Warehouse jacket, that's my daughter's, and my husband has an Eddie Bauer jacket. So puffer jackets for evenings when it's cool. By the, um, at camp, we have our trekking poles we got on Amazon. They're Trail Buddy, and they're all the same. They are adjustable, so they work for each of us. We each have a different color, um, and they will adjust. So those will work for our trekking pelt poles. Um, my husband and I have um, REI Merino wool gloves in case our hands get cold, and the kids have some gloves we found on on Amazon. We're also taking buffs. Again, we just ordered the adult sizes for the kids because those will work just as well as the kid sizes. So, and also they didn't have merino wool in the kid sizes, so we went with all um, adult size buffs. Each of us have a fleece hat that we'll be taking in case it's chilly. Our clothes, each of us have a bag of, of clothes, extra clothes, so this includes a, a base layer for our pajamas, um, an extra pair of socks, an extra pair of underwear, um, and a pair of sleep socks. So each of us have our own bag for our clothes. The snacks and our food we packed in um, Sea to Summit dry bags. So each, each person has their own bag of snacks. 
and then we have breakfast, lunch, and dinner in um, one bag each. And then our beverages. My daughter and I both have our Kula cloths. We're gonna give those a try this time. Um, that's gonna be something new, completely new for us. So we'll see how that works out. We have our poop kit, which includes a roll of toilet paper, a bottle of hand sanitizer, and a trowel. We also have an extra roll of toilet paper if needed. This is our toiletry kit, which includes um, a deodorant, a, a tiny deodorant for each, my husband and I, um, and the toothbrushes we went for were just the tops of those automated toothbrushes where we were able to mark our names on the caps so we know who's our who's. Uh, we are taking some uh, floss picks just in case we get some of our beef jerky stuck in our teeth. We have a wilderness wash and Funny enough, we had I had a hairbrush that we really loved and it broke, but it left just this little piece. So we're gonna take this as a hairbrush in case we need that. We also have some contact solution and the extra pair of contacts in here. Um, our tent is the Kelty Late Start four person tent. Um, this is the, the footprint for it. And then we packed the Rainfly and the tent in um, Sea to Summit compression sack, com drive compression sacks. We each have a mug, and these are Toke's mugs. My husband and I, for coffee, we have the insulated version, and my, the kids have uninsulated versions, because they won't be drinking hot drinks with us, um, so this will be perfect for our, for our beverages. And they each come with their own little bag, so we will either hang those or slide them right in our, in our pouches, in our packs. We have a printed map of the trail that we'll be going on, along with our, our Garmin uh, InReach Mini, so we can track ourselves that way. But in case it fails, we still have a paper map. For our sleep pads, we have the Pariah Recharge, and these are double mats, so that um, we don't have to carry four separate camp pads. Um, also, we, we decided that we'd be carrying most of the, the bulk of the weight, so these two camp pads, the four of us can sleep on. Again, this is our food, and with our food, we've, we've made, um, some, some pouches to hydrate our meals in. So once we put our water in our meals, we'll be able to put them in these pouches to stay warm longer. We're taking a couple empty smart water bottles to filter water into for when we're cooking. But our backpacks also have a bladder in them. And our bladder, our water bladders are able to be filled with our Sawyer, um, our Sawyer water filter. So we bought, a, we got the Quick Connect uh, system so we can actually fill our bladders without taking the, the actual bladder out. This will just hook into the tube and we can fill, ideally fill the filter or fill the, um, fill the pouches without removing them from our packs. Uh, we have an extra empty collapsible bottle in case we find um, a different type of beverage we'd like to take with us. When we're in when we're in Gatlinburg, so that's we have a plan for that, and we may or may not use this bottle. Our first aid kit, we did not skimp on our first aid kit. We have everything we could possibly need. We believe if if we get hurt, so we've got band aids, um, we got some burn cream. There's Neosporin, Tylenol, Advil, um, everything that you could possibly need. If if needed. Hopefully this is an unneeded and an un unnecessary weight, but but we for sure want to have that in case in case it's needed. Our pillows are outdoor vitals inflatable pillows. So we're gonna give those a try. They seem pretty comfy as we as we were trying out our things before. We are taking four 
Helinox Chair Zeros. Uh, these are our tent stakes, and, not tent, tent poles. And then our tent stakes, we have the MSR Groundhog Stakes. Pull one of those out. MSR Groundhog Stakes. There are 12 of those. For our rain gear, we have um, Mountain Warehouse uh, rain pants and rain jackets. And those will all ride in the, the brain of my husband's pack. For our sleeping bags, my husband has a Big Agnes Torchlight 20 degree sleeping bag. Uh, mine's a Bishop Pass 15 degree sleeping bags. And the kids have Par Pariah Outdoors um, short sleeping bags. Uh, we, were, we were unable to find a um, kid's sleeping bag in down that we were happy with. So all of our sleeping bags are down and we will be putting them in uh, Cedar Summit compress or compressible dry bags. Oh, we'll be back over here. We have a roll of um, ultra, ultra light string if we need a clothesline or if we need the string for anything. Um, our fire kit has a lighter for our stove. We have a regular lighter, plus we have a few fire starters in case we're able to have a campfire. We have a small uh, little towel. Each of us have a pair of sunglasses. We have the flex tail air pump for our for our sleep pads, which also has a little light on it. For our cooking setup, we have um, the Cedar Summit the Cedar Summit pot. Where it comes with a large pot and a small pot. We are just taking the larger of the two pots, and with that, we have our balls and our fuel can along with our stove uh, and spoons. I also crocheted a little tiny scrubber for, for cleaning the pan and we have a scraper to scrape out any extra things in our bowls. We have a stand for our fuel can to stabilize it and we are taking one uh, long handle spoon that's got a little bit of a silicone edge to stir the pot for our for our meals. Uh, to keep the kids entertained, we have bought a, a two of these journals that are supposed to write in the rain, so even if they get wet, we'll be able to write in them. They can they can draw pictures of things they see. They can write about the things that they see. We're taking a deck of cards, uh, and um, hopefully we can teach them how to play euchre <laughs> and a. Um, a deck of Uno cards too. We found this tiny deck at around Christmas time. So we're gonna take that with us just for some fun. My son found this uh, little um, little microscope. So we're gonna take that, you can explore with that. We have BioLite uh, headlamps. And for our camp shoes, uh, everyone else has Merrill um, slip-ons to wear. And I have a pair of um, zero shoes. We also are taking a battery bank and some cords. Uh, we have a solar panel that's not out here that we're going to take. Um, and I think that is everything. And it's all gonna fit in our backpacks. Stay tuned.
Thanks for joining us on our first hiking adventure. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Bye.